was, it was real good. Last year we came in here and got the win, and then this year, maybe we came in here and got the win again. We just take, like I said, we just take it game by game, no matter who we playing, BCU, whoever, it don't matter. We just come in here. Ain't gonna let nobody come in here in our house and beat us. Seems like a big thing for you guys, even if you're not scoring or if Dah, he's not scoring a lot, you got a lot of guys that are stepping up and putting in some points. Well, that's our main thing. Like we, everybody know our three powerhouses, but any any given day, another um, somebody on the team can step up and make it happen for us. Appreciate it. Man. Sorry. Coach, what this game's become, I, I can hold it. What this game's become, I mean, with the, with the rivalry and to be able to win it in front of your, front of your home crowd and playing pretty well in the second half, that's got to be special. Uh, just a, a great environment. You got to just love college basketball, what it offers you. I think anybody who stepped through the door today or tuned in or listened uh, had a great time uh, being involved in that game. Uh, I think our kids did. Uh, I think their kids did. Uh, it is a good series. I mean, we've got a lot of good teams that we play, but the, the VCU Old Dominion series has turned into just a great experience for everybody involved, and it's a shame somebody has to you know, end up on the short end of the stick. It, but uh, you know, we're thrilled with getting a win over such a good team. You put your stamp on that game. It seemed like the whole way through, first half, second half. Did you feel like that was pretty much a complete game? Maybe at the end there they just hit some shots. But. Well, if you look at the second half we played, uh, pretty flawless. We only had four turnovers. We shot really good percentages from two, from three, from the free throw line. So we played really good in that respect. I thought they made some really hard shots. I thought we guarded pretty good. Uh, so we did a lot of stuff right to win this game, and they did a lot of stuff right to make it close. It seems like for you guys, if Alex isn't scoring, if Dahi's not scoring, you're still getting some points from a lot of other people right now. It's got to, it's got to be huge. I thought guys. one of the one of the uh, flavors of the game was the pick me up that the bench offered both teams, and we had some real key performances off the bench. But when push come to shove, uh, down the stretch of the game, I thought that uh, some of our some of our more experienced guys uh, stepped up, and then they kind of led the other kids into making some plays. What was it important for you to go after the game, go over there, and kind of? Here with the uh, student section. Well, we had we had the first camp out in, in the history of the program, to my knowledge, and so the students camped out, and uh, you know we sing the song, the alma mater, after the, the game, and we just thought, hey, let's go over and do it with the students, and uh, they created a special environment uh, for the game. Uh, they're really getting involved and enjoying the experience with the program, with their classmates, and so we went over and shared that, and it was it was a, it was a, it was fun. Last question, is that something that's big for, for your, a program, is getting the students involved? I know it hasn't always been that way here. Well, in general, you know, people come to games and they're excited about watching the game, but the students set the tone for the environment. They're the, they're the young and the restless and the crazy and the funny, and, and all of a sudden when they get the place hopping, it, it's contagious and it spreads throughout the arena. Cool. Appreciate it, Coach.